What made you want to do this? I'll be a zookeeper? Yeah. Well, you I've... You literally walk around knee deep with, with alligators. <laughs> well, I've always been really interested in reptiles and herpetology. And I studied herpetology in college, and I moved to Florida. I'm actually from Chicago, so it's great that I get to work hands-on with these reptiles, hands-on with these alligators and crocodiles. They're just fascinating. What's fascinating about them? They're incredible. I mean, they are living fossils, is what they are. Uh, they've been around for over 200 million years or so, and they are the largest, alligators and crocodiles are the largest reptiles. Uh, they have incredible digestive systems. They are apex predators. Do you get nervous knowing that when you're working with them? I mean, what's the key to be able to working with animals like this? Uh, you just safety, safety, safety. And uh, I don't know, I guess, yeah, you have to be a little brave. <laughs> and you've been very respectful of them as well. Yes, exactly. I respect them, hopefully they respect me also. Katie, I'm rolling if you have anything else. Uh, so, what would you suggest people do if they find an alligator in their backyard or their swimming pool or something like that? Well, it's never a good idea to feed an alligator or approach them really, that's when attacks happen. Uh, they're not normally going to go after you unless they feel threatened by you. Um, and if they don't, if you're not a threat, then you're food. So we definitely shouldn't feed them because then they're going to associate food with humans and start approaching humans in the wild. And that's what we call a nuisance alligator because we don't want them to associate uh, the food with the humans and start approaching them because as soon as they get that call FWC, they have to remove that alligator. And do they normally live in, in groups? I know we've got 18 or 19 here. Um, do they live in groups this large, or do you um, usually find just one or two? It's all depending on location, and as well as the age of the alligators as well. I've heard it said before that in Florida, any body of water can have an alligator. Yes, alligators are in lots of rivers, swamps, uh, streams, ponds, and they are more uh, adapted to freshwater environments, uh, especially the Everglades, the Keys. Uh, crocodiles are more prone to saltwater environments, so they have a special gland in their mouth to excrete salts, so they're more adapted to that saltwater. What is the hissing? Uh, that's telling you to stay away. <laughs> Wild. Right now I'm feeding them uh, specialized gator chow, so it's formulated with plenty of proteins and nutrients in there for them. Uh, but typically when they're juveniles, they eat insects, amphibians, uh, even other reptiles like snakes. And as they get older, they're going to start eating fish um, as well as birds and small mammals. So these guys are, love fish. We actually feed them tilapia and they find it delicious. And then when they get to be adults, pretty much anything really. Like I said, they were apex predators, so they're gonna eat lots of mammals, birds, anything that their powerful jaw can get a hold of. So they have very strong muscles to shut their jaws close on their prey and very weak muscles to actually open them. So an adult human could actually hold an alligator's mouth shut with just its bare hands. That's why that tape works so well. <laughs> Uh, they don't typically need to eat every day, 
uh, but they're eating all day, every day because of our gator chow uh, feed machine over there. So customers actually come in here and they can feed them all day mm -hmm. with this gator chow. They were threatened at one point, but their numbers are back up since the 80s. Now we have an overabundance, over 2 million in Florida. About 25% of the original population, so we were way underabundance. When they first came to Florida, the Spanish were about Didn't they call it El Legato, and that's where alligator came from? We should say that. That now. Are you still filming? Yep. So the Spanish settlers in Florida uh, called them El Legato, which translates to lizard, and that's where the term alligator came from. And alligators and crocodiles both belong to the order Crocodilla, and they are the genus alligator Mississippiensis for the lizard of the Mississippi River. Is it illegal to kill them? No, there are uh, certain permits you can have and it's only certain times of year. Do you know what time of year now? Yeah. So there are certain times of year that you can actually hunt them. And of course you have to have your specialized permits for that. get one off your property, do they relocate it? We do not relocate them anymore because we have the overabundance. So when they become a nuisance alligator, that's why it's never good to feed them. You don't want them to be a nuisance alligator because they will be euthanized. There is an option to relocate them. They have to be under four feet. And then their GPS. why they don't relocate them. Because... Because that's how you get paid. That's what? That's how you get paid. What do you mean? People that remove them, that's their own payment. It's the alligators, so why would they go and do it? Yeah, exactly. That's why. Yeah. If you were that show on TV, the, they go and get them and I've never seen those thing, Gator Boys or anything like that. Have you? I've never seen any of those shows. Yeah, Louisiana, you're a lot of. And what I'm going to do is toss it right in there for Dominic to enjoy. All right, ready? There we go. All right, Dominic. Here we go, bud. And as you guys can notice his teeth, uh, this is what differs crocodiles from alligators. Uh, if you take a look, you can see the lower teeth as well as the upper teeth when his mouth is closed. Now as far as alligators go, when their mouths are closed, you can only see the upper teeth. Now they also vary in color. Uh, Dominic, as you see here, is kind of grayish or a green olive color. Alligators are actually more of a black color or a black and brown. And when they're juveniles or babies, alligators are dark in color with light stripes. And when crocodiles are juveniles, they are light in color with dark stripes. So that's how you can tell that difference when they are that small. Now they also vary in location. There's only two species of alligators. Uh, here in the States, we have American alligators. And there are several different species of crocodile, crocodiles all over the globe. Now, alligators are more prone to freshwater environments, finding them in the Everglades and the Keys. And crocodiles are more prone to saltwater environments. Uh, so you can find them more in southern Florida. And Florida is actually the only place in the entire world 
that has both alligators as well as crocodiles. So that's what makes Florida so interesting and fun in my book. Now after we're done feeding Dominic here, uh, we're going to go over and I'm going to bring out an alligator and talk a little bit about their features. Uh, but as far as alligators in the states, we have over 5 million and over 2 million of them here in Florida alone. So we do have an overabundance. And believe it or not, they were actually threatened at one point, but luckily we have their numbers back up. Oh, there he goes, grabbed the one right in the water. All right, and as you can see, they have very powerful jaws. So they have lots of muscles, very strong muscles to slap their jaws shut and not very many muscles or strong muscles to open them up. All right, guys. And she is a Siamese crocodile. And typically, I think she's the most aggressive one we have. So she gets really, really uh, food aggressive as well. So as you can see, she's a bit more exciting with than Dominic when she takes a bite of this chicken. Now, she typically eats uh, the gator chow as well as the tilapia. She loves tilapia. It's super fun to throw that right in her pond. Uh, but now she's going to get a special treat. We've got some chicken for her. All right. Oh, I'm going to have her come over to the other side. Maybe get a better shot. All right. As you can see, she's pretty fast and agile as well. So we're going to feed her too. As you can see, she just gulped that right up, <laughs> swallowed the whole piece. All right, Lee. Yeah, we don't ever want to be in the water with her. <laughs> Yummy. Is that good, Lee? Yes. She's one of my favorites we have here. Why she's is got, that? She's got quite the personality. And I just like the aggression. It's more fun. <laughs> Whatever you say. <laughs> now, how old is she? Uh, that's a really common question we get with a lot of our animals here at Jungle Gardens. Uh, we don't know their accurate histories. We can only estimate. So. It says she's critically endangered in the wild. Mm-hmm. Where are these usually found? Uh, they're found in Asia, Siamese crocodile. Uh, they're, they are endangered and almost extinct. Uh, but you can find them in Southeast Asia as well as as far as Thailand, uh, Laos, different areas like that. People like poach them or kill them? Is that why? Or they're just slowly depleting? Uh, I think both. I think habitat depletion um, as well as poaching. He's a little challenged. Yeah, Milo, right over there. Behind you, buddy. Can You're you so exciting. It? Can you smell it? He's the most fun to feed. <laughs> now, is that one of those hisses? Mm hmm. Okay. Not me, bud. It's behind you. I feel bad. He's challenged. Makes him surprised. Do they not have a good sense of smell? Oh no, they have a good sense of smell. It took yeah. us like three months to detox. <laughs> I'll betcha. <laughs> he, he went through a rehab setting oh. for a while. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get and his then, nose as yes. good as I can. 